welcome back to another book review by Alice. Today, we're talking about Fortuna Sworn by K.J. Sutton. Now, if you've heard of a Kelsey Sutton, same author, but K.J. is what she goes by when she writes more of adult type books, and Kelsey is what she goes by when she writes her YA books. So, Fortuna Sworn was my first book of this author, and I honestly... I loved it enough that I'm on book four of the series right now. What actually made me pick up the book is her trigger warning list at the beginning, or her content warning, because it made me laugh. And now I'm going to read it to you. Please be aware this novel contains scenes or themes of slavery, profanity, spiders, an eating disorder, sexual harassment, an abusive relationship, violence, cannibalism, an animal death, sex, and murder. Yeah, the fact that spiders is listed with all these other clearly serious topics made me laugh hysterically. <laughs> so also, in all honesty though, I absolutely applaud KJ Sutton for having included such a diverse and massive list. It actually inspired me. So if she ever sees this, which she won't, but if she does, thank you KJ, you inspired me to make as equally diverse of a list of triggers and tropes on my own website for my book. So thank you for that inspiration. I feel we should all, all authors can be doing better to help people know what they need to know about books. But let's talk about Fortuna Swarm. So Fortuna Swarm is, I can give this away because you find it out in the first like two, three chapters of the book. Fortuna Swarm is what's called a nightmare. So this is a creature who you never actually see their true face. Everyone who looks at them sees something completely different. They see what is their idea of beauty or perfection. And then the nightmare is capable of getting into your head and pulling out your greatest fears. So essentially bringing your nightmare to life. They feed off of your fear and they use that, she uses it as a way to escape and keep herself safe. So the premise of this story, this is a series, so we're gonna have a couple more videos going through books two and three. I'm currently reading book four, hopefully by the time I'm done all the book reviews, I will finish book four. If not, it should come fairly quickly, like in the next month or so, so fingers crossed. But in this book, the premise is that her brother Damien has been kidnapped by somebody and she's been looking for them. She's convinced they're kidnapped. Other people aren't 100% sure they think he's just disappeared, but she's like, uh -uh, no, he's not just disappeared. He's been kidnapped. So she's on a mission to find him. Her par their parents are dead. So it's literally, if she doesn't find him, nobody's going to find him. So she spends the book looking for her brother Damien and she finds him, but she finds him trapped in the unsealy court. So we know that with the Fae, there's the Seelie Court and the Unsealie Court. And the Unsealie are the darker, creepier, disturbing creatures. So he is being held captive in the Unsealie Court. And in order to get him out, she ends up getting herself in a situation where she ends up marrying the king of the Unsealie Court in order to get access to the court, in order to get her brother freed. So that's how we meet Colith, who ends up being, for interest in the book, the king of the Unsealie Court. There's a lot of... Um, a lot of miscommunication, a lot of lying, and a lot of blatant um, leaving out of information between these two characters. I do, I ship them. I like them. I think they're wonderful. They are adorable together. There's no smut in this book, which kind of bothered me because I wanted them to just like, we're already doing it. Already doing it. <laughs> but <laughs> um, yeah, it was a really good story. I enjoyed it. If you like fantasy that is a little bit darker, a little bit like more twisted. This is definitely the kind of story for you. Um, they get a little darker as we go along too. So this is kind of like, if you read it and you think, oh, this isn't really dark, Alice, what were you saying? They get darker as you go. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But I really did enjoy this. The characters are deep. They're fun. The relationship between her and her brother is very accurate, even though he ends up being quite wounded when she finds him in that mentally, not physically as much, although he's pretty physically wounded too. But I feel like that is the kind of relationship a brother and sister would typically have, where she's like, but I saved you. And he's like, no one asked you to. And it's like, oh my God, that is so what siblings would say. So the characters are really deep and well-written and I enjoy the depth. They do bug me sometimes because they don't do what I want them to do. But when do characters actually do what we want them to do, even when we know what's best for them, they just don't because they're dorks. But yeah, so I really enjoyed this book. If you like something, like I said, a little darker, a little twisty, check out Fortuna Sworn by KJ Sutton. I thought it was a blast. And if you do pick it up, let me know what you think because I'm always curious to know what people think of the books I recommend. So yeah, have a great day, you guys, and happy reading.